Hello? Hi. Hey, we're alive. Okay, good. We're alive? We are alive. We're alive. We're alive. Trying that we're shit alive? again. Oh, no. How about now? There we go. Okay, that worked too. That's good. So far, so good. <laughs> Alright, so when last we left them, you guys had defeated a bunch of owl bears. Um, you did actually fight and destroy some owlbear younglings, but you kind of felt it was kind of a necessary type of thing in a way because, you know, the, the, the idea would be that, you know, you had to fight the parents and the uh, the young ones would have probably died by themselves anyways kind of thing. They've been in captivity this whole time. Um, and the other thing is that uh, they're locked in a tower. These these owl bears are all locked in a tower. There there's no way they could have got out, and so the only reason that they were alive anyways is they were being kept alive magically subsisting as one of Audubus's uh, a dubious sorry a dubious's uh, experiments or whatever. Okay, and you guys, yeah. you found the thing. Did I I didn't give you guys experience for the owl bears though, did I? I don't think I did. I believe so. Some poor things out of their misery, we did. <laughs> yeah, I was having... But having rolled 20 issues for, like, the longest time now, too. That's another <sighs> reason why I've been using the D&D Beyond. Even though I did not know I was supposed to be boycotting it. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be boycotting <laughs> You don't it. have I'm to boycott it. Oh, okay. But the, sure but they I'm did sure. have they did have something like they did have something like sixty sixty thousand users or some crap like that that you know just jump ship for a yeah. while at yeah. least yeah till they till at, at least at heard... least until they did their uh, rollback thing what yeah the heck is going on man yeah what you the wizards me? lost uh, approximately two point four million dollars yep from the unsubscribing yep. of their service. Yeah, that would that would be uh, that would be uh, about sixty thousand. <laughs> that that seems to be a um, an effective uh, grassroots campaign to uh, you know bring about some change. What in the world, man? I cannot use my computer today. I guess I'm just not awake yet. Yes. Fourteen hundred. <clears throat> I think I let me see if I can pop these guys up. Of course, it's not letting me pop up anybody's fucking character sheet. There we go. Now let me pop up Gabor's. Well, that's good. Okay. All right. Then let me see. What does it say for these guys? Ah, they don't represent anything. That's why. Where are you at? Re. Look like a man. A rock a rock a man. That show will be canceled nowadays. I'm sure. What show? In Living Color. Mad TV. Oh, Mad TV. Yeah, oh. yeah, Mad TV. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in Living Color, what too. Was that? Third Rock in the Sun would have got canceled quicker than shit, too. Yeah. That show was bad. We live, we live in the times of uh, fucking All in the Family. I know, right? I know. It's a strange, strange world that we've found ourselves in. Archie Bunker was racist as hell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they did counter it by having, you know, people who repeatedly told him how racist and fucked yeah, up how he told was, it, Yeah, how told him how messed up it was, yeah. Yeah. That, so, it, I, mean, I still think it'd be canceled, but but that that's actually where the Jeffersons came from. The Jeffersons got right, their spinoff right. of from Archie Bunker's. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, and he was a racist ass down yeah. there too. Yeah, yeah. They like hated each other. <clears throat> yeah, they they basically exist on hating each other. And the characters got so popular, uh, they did this Jefferson spinoff, and then that show got really really popular. And the the thing is, at the height of its popularity, it got, it got canceled. So it's like, wow. All right, so uh, last we left them, Adubius's Tower. We're gonna say here. Let me uh, give another. Um, a tree feeding. <laughs> gosh. Uh, yeah, I think we ended with us going to the an abandoned part of the tower to rest or something. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so and give you guys each 800 XP. And the whole point of coming here was to get a long rest. You know, like, yep. that was, you guys were, like, marching across to a territory and started raining outside and whatever. <clears throat> and you guys got uh, your long rest. So 800 XP each. Um, let me double check. You might get more than that because I don't know if I gave out XP for upstairs. Well, I know um, before adding this, my experience is at 6,500. Is that supposed to be correct or am I off? You have to ask uh, Zach, I guess. Zach, is, what's yours at? And we can ask Joe for we can ask Joe for Joe should, should be a little bit higher, but but we could ask him for a kind of a split. What's yours at, Joe? The, I was at seven seven one seven until uh, the eight hundred was added, in, which puts me at eighty five ten seventeen. Okay, and then what are you at, um, Zach? Uh, seven seventy two sixty seven. Seventy-two sixty-seven. Okay, so then that's what you should be at, J uh, James. Is uh, about seventy-two sixty-seven. <clears throat> okay. Um. This is before adding. Joe has hundred. slightly more because Joe's character was used on a previous uh, leg of an adventure. That's why. Um. <clears throat> um. Seventy-two. What? Seven two six seven. Right, Zach. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So yeah, seven two six seven. Um, okay. I don't yeah. see where I gave you experience for the invisible stalker either, so let me look at that real quick. I feel like I played him in my audition, and you liked the character, so you had me keep Yeah, I let you, you know, I allowed you to keep the experience from the, uh, from the audition, uh, that made three characters. Shot. Apparently you like this one the best. And this is the one that I played during my audition also. I had a. You, you should probably have I a higher a thing too. I thought you remade your character, James. Yeah, you should be at the same as me then. Um, I was. I had a warlock. I was. I was one of my concepts. Was I had a tiefling warlock named. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so what is you? What are you at, James? Then or, or what are you at? Um, um, uh, at hold on, hold on, James. Stop, stop. <laughs> what are you at, Joe? Eight five seventeen. Eight five seventeen. Okay, so you know what you want to do is you want to split the difference and put yourself at eight, 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 uh, even. James. Okay. Okay. Just in case I'm not thinking of something. But, um, what the hell, man? I'm trying to. I'm pretty sure Luther was the one he used at audition too. But either way, you guys are probably both behind on something for some reason. You guys probably just didn't Luther forgot was, to add uh, forgot to add it in or something. <clears throat> well, I oh no, Luther was the other guy. For Luther was actually in the other. Yeah, you guys did the madness of the Rat King stuff with him, all right? Which is why Luther doesn't like things grabbing his face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, hold on. Let me go older. And, and that's why Luther likes yellow potions. So we'll try to randomly drink them. <laughs> invisible stalker, invisible stalker, invisible stalker. Oh, did I mention invisible stalker? They in the did bushes? not mention invisible stalker. Oh, and, there, and there was. Oh, and the, don't forget there was a mimic. Okay, so the invisible stalker and the mimic. Yeah. And I am not. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so I didn't give out experience for the Invisible Stalker or the Mimic either. I don't think. Let me look. I'm just looking at that right now. Oh, you can see it on stream. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> People on stream are like, man. Yep, that's that's okay. So that's the old bears. So yeah. Oh no, um, hundred and eighty XP each. Why well, add nine fifty? No, 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 no. You already had it. Should already have, well, maybe you should already had it on there. Is the point? But I did give it to oh, you. You told me you put down eight. You told me at eight even. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. But I'm okay. saying from the invisible stalker and all that stuff. I already. It was a previous session. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? 
Maybe. <laughs> Say it again in Spanish. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Anyway, um... <laughs> We are not so. <laughs> so experience, uh, 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 oh, day, oh, day, oh, day. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I just said 80 like three times. Spanish, forgive me. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know much uh, Spanish. Um, I probably know more than a lot of people, but not enough to hold a decent conversation. All right, so. Um, <laughs> you guys get your, you know, your long rest and uh, head out the next day. Yes? Or are you guys just, you know, going to camp out here at the Wizard's Tower Moving forever? In. This is just where we're going to be now. It's like, this is just our, I mean, New base. it could kind of be your home base, kind of, in a way, I guess, suppose. <laughs> you know, you might have to clean out the uh, rotting uh, owlbear cor corpses and such, but... The dead mimics and the uh, dead person upstairs. Well, the invisible stalker, when they die, they, they go back to the uh, elemental plane of air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we just need a gelatinous cube for our garbage disposal. There you go. Maybe we just need a dwarf for our garbage disposal. Mini gelatinous cube. <laughs> oh, wait, we already got... <clears throat> It's 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 a mini gelatinous cube, but it's it's inside the uh, garbage can, so it's a gelatinous cylinder. So... <laughs> uh, yeah, a gelatinous. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah. let me do this. You guys can see where you guys at. I think you can so, see so this it here. Did give us the other experience points for the stalker and stuff, you know? Yeah, I right? think so. Let me let me let me double check because it says I give you 180 XP each for something but it seems I thought it would be more than that for the stalker and that and what you're saying uh, what you're saying. okay oh that's the enhanced homunculus okay yeah, Thank you. 450 plus. Yeah, it was a, okay. It was a mimic and a skeleton. That's what it was. 450 plus 50. So yeah, it was 180 each. Yep, you guys got that already. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so you guys are back in town here. All right. Um, I got a bunch of people in the yeah. streets there. I don't know why, just because the festival was going on. The festival is has probably been over for a day or two, you know, maybe 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 longer. Actually, you guys have probably been gone for a week or so, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah so so well, the festival's been probably been for, yeah. So the festival's probably been over for like probably like a, a ten day a week, you know. Um. A lot of drunk people still laying around. Yeah, there's everybody in the streets apparently. It's a busy, it's a busy market day apparently. Oh, um, hey, drunk is down. The morning after. Yeah. Wow. They're, they're 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 there a week after the whole uh, the festivities <laughs> and they're just still drunk in the streets. Okay. Um, <laughs> so um, when you guys go back to town and you guys are like hanging out in town, or what are you planning on doing? Anything? Mm. Well, check to see um, the usual postings. Okay. Yeah, we can look to see if there's any jobs, any work. Just going to inquire at the pub, see if anybody's heard word of the Moly Cobalt's whereabouts. That's the ship he's from. Moldy Cobalt, huh? Moldy <clears throat> Cobalt. Moldy Cobalt. <laughs> we hop a few pubs, some cards or something. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember the name of this stupid map. <laughs> map. Hang on one second. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to look and find the, some of this stuff, I think, here. Um, <laughs> That's not it though. Shoot. Dang it. I don't think so. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh I know. I'm looking I'm looking in the wrong spot, that's why. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want. Do I have one called a swamp? I probably don't. Ah, uh, goodness gracious. Ah, oh, uh, here we go. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. You guys go to the uh, job board. Um, <clears throat> uh... You notice as you guys are walking into town, you you do see uh, kind of uh, catch Caius out of the corner of your eye. He's over at the church, tending to church things, doing doing clerical type things, and uh, <clears throat> you guys are he he stuff. headed toward the job board, and uh, you see a rider with a red cloak come up to you, uh, and uh, he he. Uh, approaches you rather quickly and he says uh <clears throat> he says you three quickly come with me okay uh. Hi. Oh. It, it's something to do come on let's go something to do he says he says you just got back into town you're adventurous no yeah he says you he says uh uh he says Caius has told me somewhat about you he says uh he says, uh, your, your help is needed, quickly. Oh, if Caius referred you, um, referred, yeah, we'll, get, we'll go, we'll be good. Right? Maybe. <laughs> you guys want to follow this guy? Well, he was re referred by Caius, yeah. someone who we know. Yes. What's he look like? He's a, a rider in a red cloak. You notice that... that this is kind of the town watch here in this area. They they, they uh, are like kind of frontier uh, marshals essentially, and uh, they oh. they they're called the Riders in Red Cloaks, and uh, okay. and they basically okay. uh, you you see them kind of like every now and then, you know, just around the town, but mostly they're out riding the trail up and down between the two towns. Okay, so. Barney Fife wants to talk. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, he 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 trots, you know, <clears throat> along kind of swiftly. So you know, you guys have to kind of, you know, hoof it a little bit to keep up. And not a chance. He, he, I saw him. He he, uh, he uh, as he's do as he's going his his uh, you know, his hood falls off, and you notice he's an elf. <clears throat> um. And, uh, you know, he, he stops every once in a while to make sure you guys are, like, catching up or, you know, following or whatever, you know, like, slows down or whatever. And then, uh, <clears throat> he says, he says here, and he, and he gets off his horse, and, and, and there laying in the tall grass is a, uh, is a figure, um, uh, looks like the body of someone but he goes over and he, he uh, pulls out like a small potion and uh, he says I, he says I had to return to town for this and he pulls out this potion and he gives it to the 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 figure laying there and the, the figure kind of stirs awake he's like the figure says attacked we were all attacked They need our help, and he's—you know—he's still—he's still obviously pretty hurt. Okay. Um, but the potion did its job, and he's—you know—not just conscious. He's just—he's—you know—he's 
also a bit he more healed than he was. He was he was not like hurt pretty bad. So, and you notice that when you look, uh, <clears throat> it's a an elf also. Which type of elf? Uh, it looks like a high elf. Short kind. <laughs> Short kind. <clears throat> the pointy eared kind. Yeah. Oh, they're all pointy eared. They're kind of I'm trees. a dwarf. <clears throat> so yeah, he he uh, he basically is like laying there in the tall grass, and and he says uh, that they were attacked, and that's all he says, and they and they need your help. Okay, uh, we need some more information. Like, where were we, where are you attacked at? Do you know yeah. by who? <clears throat> uh, the the elf with the red the red cloak turns towards you and says. He came from Canthamar, and he points over toward the the hills, the foothills of the mountains, and uh, <clears throat> there's a small little village, uh, mostly elves. He says, uh, nestled in the foothills there, uh, in the woods before the uh, before the mountains. And he says, uh, he says he he ran this way to get help, and uh, we found him, we found him, uh, you know, where I found him out here, and uh, ran back to town to get a potion. You know, real quick. Okay, what attack? Uh, the elf says, says. You're going to say that is Gabor saying this to the guy on the ground? No, what attacked you? Do you know? He says, Oh, he says. Uh, the, but but you're saying to the, to the guy on the ground, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. He says, Demons! It was demons! They came from all over, demons and undead! I look at, um, I look at Grandalus and Luther, I'm like, guys, what do you think? Luther's looking back, he's, he's looking at the files like, uh, what? Just <laughs> <laughs> uh. in which way are we gonna go, just point? Uh, he, he points over toward the mountains again. Okay, so it's... Looking that way. It says, uh... So what do you think, Grandalus? Demons? More stuff to beat up for ya. I know you like beating up stuff. Demons? The, the elf in the red cloak says, uh... Says, uh... Um... He says, uh, help, help me get him on the horse and we'll get him back to town. And then I can guide you over to Canthamar if you would like. Okay. Yeah, let's get him back to town for it. Yes. Good idea. <clears throat> I want to um, make sure. I want to give him my. Um, I'm going to do a medicine check to see if there's anything else that um, I've been noticed that's not out of the ordinary. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make a. Go ahead and do a good medicine check if you can. Nice. Okay. Sixteen. Okay, you're able to actually uh, help uh, bind some of his wounds, and uh, it'll it'll be better for him. And he actually will. Uh, you actually notice like the some of the lacerations are from what look like small claws. Um. <clears throat> and uh, They seem to be like festering, like not not like specifically like an animal claws, but maybe maybe like a a big cat's claw, you know, because you know they do that like the cat scratch type fester, you know, like but 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 just okay. like worse. Okay, yeah, um, I think Caius might be able to help with on some of this. Like maybe there's some stuff. poison involved, kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I make a nature check to, like, axe or anything? Can do what? Can do a nature check to check axe to see if I can... Over tracks? Is that what you said? Just, yeah, just a rough guesstimate of the numbers we're facing. Uh, well... <clears throat> you could, but he did mention that it happened in the town, so he and he did run 
all the way from the town, so there's probably not going to be any tracks. Yes. Otherwise, he'd be dead rather than just talking in a field somewhere. Yeah, that is, that's how... true. <clears throat> Let's oh. get him back to town, and then we can yeah. get we can uh, get this uh, beat, fe beat down fest on the road. Okay, so you guys get him back to town, put him on the, put him on the horse, he, and the uh, the, uh, the elf, the red, the rider in red cloak elf. He uh, <clears throat> he introduces himself as Linnaeus Farseer, um, and he is uh, one of the forward scouts for the riders in red cloaks. And uh, he says uh, that he basically just kind of roves around town here looking for you know problems and. You know, the, when he picked up this guy in the in the field, seeing what was going on there. Yeah. You are roving guard. Yep. So he, you guys get him back to town, um, and you know, the, you guys take him to the temple where where Caius is at, and Caius is actually the temple of Ilmater, and uh, Caius is like tending to him to his wounds and whatever, and hands him off to some acolytes, kind of thing, and they take him into the temple and whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> and you guys, uh, uh, get led to the stables where the Riders and Red Cloaks are based out of. It's be like, uh, okay. this, this big stable area over here. Um, here, where, let me do this. No snapping. No. Okay, see, now it's doing it. This thing right here. This is the big uh, Riders and Red Cloaks stables and barracks and all this good stuff. This little right. compound here. And anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, Linnaeus gets a wagon. So you guys get a wagon, like, you know, and a, cu and, and a couple horses, uh, you know, and he says, I figure we might as well take a wagon in case there's other, uh, other injured or, or deceased that we need to bring back or whatever. And, uh, you know, he, he waits for you guys to climb aboard. He says, he says, if you'd rather have horses, I, you know, I could, I could probably, uh, we could probably rent some to you. I, I think it'd be better. I, I think I'll stick with the cart because I'm yeah. not sure if I know how to ride a horse. Yeah, I'm the horse is taller than me. <laughs> Everything's taller than you, Gavor. Not Your everything. super wagon is taller than you. Step aside. Uh, yeah, I need horse. <laughs> okay, so all right. So the 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 he wants to. All right, go ahead. Hunter wants to get uh, some double rations and some double medical, uh, like some double potions and stuff. That way. Oh, we're in the stable. We got. Yeah, what, you, are you gonna you, buy green. <laughs> He's gonna buy rations, green for ra green rations, you know. <laughs> I mean, we need horse rations, maybe. But... So, are you gonna gonna kind of go into go to a a store or like a shop or something and try to get some rations and stuff? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm thinking. I think that was a that yeah, too. but it was only it was that <laughs> yes, picking yes, up yes, picking sorry. up one, first word thingy. Mm -hmm. Um, I I, I can I can kind of read your lips though. I was like, uh, he's, I think he said yeah. It looked like he said yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Ollie. All your adoring fans are oh, out there. Oh, Mr. Ollie. Hey. Hi, Oliver. All right. So. So um. So you, okay, so you can get a couple couple of things of rations. You you know how much they are? Oh no, that's a DM job. Uh, yeah, I know. I I didn't know if he knew. No, I I I I don't unfortunately. Uh okay, so a day a day's worth of rations is going to be five silver. So if you wanted two of them, then it's going to be ten. One gold. One gold. Yep. Or ten silver, depending on how you look at it. Uh, or a hundred copper. Okay. <laughs> I have ninety-seven uh, copper. I'm gonna turn it into a radio station. Ninety-seven Ooh, copper. Do 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 do. Uh, radio station. Yeah. Uh, can I get a? 
I'd be able to, uh, you know, if there's any, if the shop that's selling me the rations has a healing potion too. The shop can the shop can sell you one healing potion, and it's fifty gold. I'll okay. take it with the But if you want if you want uh, if you want more than one healing potion you'll have to go back to the temple or one of the temples. Oh, there's I'll, a I'll... there's several temples in town, but and you said fifty for one healing? Okay. Yeah yeah no, yeah yeah, but you you have to go to a temple to get it. To pick up the one? Yes, I yeah. yes, because I because if if Zach is if Zach's character if Luther is buying the one, I said the shop has one healing potion, not like one for each of you. One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> magic magic is oh, kind of expensive stuff, and healing potions are not something that generally your general store carries, kind of thing. You know, like you know you're lu you're lucky to find one. So. <laughs> Yeah, this crisis. You could go to a temple though, and you can get a couple from me for each of you if you wanted to. But they're fifty gold each. Hey, hey we can go to the temple. I like, ain't got no problem with that. Have like ten days worth of ration. Okay. It'd be like five gold. If, if, yes. If Matt, if Matt, uh, Matt yeah, that's, right. That sounds about right. Uh, five, yeah, five gold, yeah, five gold, yeah, sorry, would be, for, for ten days worth, yeah. <clears throat> um, and, and, and kind of Linnaeus is kind of walking along with you guys, you know, like kind of leading the cart along to wherever you guys go, and, and he, he says to you guys, he says, honestly, I, I fear there is probably no rush. He says it. It's a small, small town, just a, just a startup town, mostly elves, uh, some humans, uh, kind of elves that were more or less ostracized by the more aristocratic of my kind, and uh, they they moved to this small elven village to start over and build build a new. Uh, he says, uh, but there weren't many many there, so. If only one made it out to tell us, then there's a good chance there's not many survivors, if at all. Hmm. Well, as they say, we'll serve justice. And if justice is too late, we'll serve revenge. He says, he says, uh, he says, uh, fair, fair assessment and. Uh, uh, do you guys get? You guys uh, are taking two potions each. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay. So, All right. So that's a hundred gold each, or whatever. Depending and on. I also request out of the treasury that we get. Out of your party treasure. This is for party treasure, um, for the party. This is for one of the spell. Uh, one of the spelling components is. Um, Diamonds worth 300 gold pieces um, for Revivify. I want to make sure I have some of that components oh, in do case. You, do you have that in the, pir in the party treasure? No. Uh, I was wondering if we could go through the party treasure and do so. To, um, um, oh, and sell some? You do have 12 diamonds that are worth 200 gold pieces each, but... Oh. Yeah, but you don't have... Um, Oh, are them still the party treasure? I should have took them out when I took them. <laughs> well, actually, that would be that would be the right stuff, um, equipment, right spellcasting focus. I need for it. But you, I thought you said you, I thought you said I thought you said you needed one where for three hundred gold pieces. You said. Uh, I thought says, I thought I think Ruby Five is. Worth, well, it's well, it says material diamonds worth three hundred gold pieces, oh. which the spell consumes. Diamonds or a diamond? No, it says diamonds worth. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, yeah, you could use that. Oh yeah, just burn a hundred gold pieces worth of diamond all the time. There you go. But it will <laughs> it be a very critical lifesaver for any of us. 
Because if you die within a minute, if I do revivify within the first minute, you come back to life at one health. Yeah, but what if you die? Well, that, uh, well, I have no idea then. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, have to, uh, <clears throat> sort all this party treasure out and div divvy it up for, uh, for everybody, so that way we know, like, yeah. cause, and, and, you know, and split it five, uh, six ways. Yeah, six ways. Well, I took that spell because I wanted to be Well, I don't mean, I don't mean the stuff that happened after everybody else departed. I'm talking about, like, you know, the stuff that you got, like, up until then, too, you know? Yeah. Because, because a lot of that stuff that would be in the, uh, would have been in the rope uh, bag of holding thing, right? So we, we figure that we'll we'll have divvied it up before they left and left you guys like a uh, either a credit or a, a bank deposit type of thing back in town <laughs> kind of thing. You know, some along those lines. Make sure you guys get your uh, your cut, so to speak. Right, right. Because we worked hard for it. Yep, yep. You good? All right, oh, so. What's that? He said we worked hard for it. I said we did. I thought we played for it. Right. <laughs> played hard. <laughs> worked hard. Played hard. Door knocker, you up. And as you saw earlier, we got raided by a dice of destiny. Uh, thanks, guys, for raiding our channel, and I hope the viewers enjoy our show. Oh, hey, dice of destiny. Oh, oh no, it faded the dice. Nice. Thanks, guys. Oh. Ready with a party of one, sweet. Hey, any any more viewers nice. we can get is is perfect. I think that now now that it was like a extra viewer. And promised land tier, tier two hundred bucks a bits while we were playing. Okay, so anyway, um, so you guys get all your stuff and uh, you guys head out on the wagon kind of thing, and you get a horse, Joe. Yes, supper horse. Yeah, so you, so now you guys have basically you guys have two horses on the wagon and a horse that Joe's riding. Did anybody else need a horse? I know, I know you guys were just going to ride on the wagon. Luther, yeah. did you want a horse or did you want to just ride on the wagon? I'll ride on the wagon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because they ain't got a nag ugly enough for him. <laughs> well, plus me being on the... Um... No, don't kink shame him. <laughs> uh oh. I'm, I'm, I was like... I'm... <gasps> <sighs> I'm going to lose the rage now. Oh, sorry, but I just noticed my phone was about to die. I had to plug it in. I forgot uh -oh. to plug it in. Is that also your, uh... Discord your... Yes, your Discord communication thing, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um... Okay. Where's the cigarette? Well, I don't think dwarves are... Are they typically known to be riding horses a lot? Sure. Just because just because just because Gimli's afraid of heights doesn't mean that everybody every dwarf. Well, is. The thing is, uh, uh, what about a um, gray dwarf? Why not? Uh, gray dwarves usually were uh, would ride steeders I mean, more often, but they could, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they would prefer a gray horse, but <laughs> right, or they would probably yeah. they would also prefer uh, like a steeder, like a you know the the their big spiders oh okay what they ride um okay on. there's stuff that they do ride it's just it, it was drawing a blank for me for a while that's why i said i just hop on the cart not orange enough. okay whoops i'm gonna do this bloop I gotta make sure the uh, dynamic lighting set up here on here in this map. It's not, of course. So I gotta fix that. <laughs> okay, so you guys are busy walking to the the place while I'm setting up dynamic lighting, which should have been done a long time ago. Yay! Uh, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna put you on the map, and you guys can just just pretend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm great at pretending. It, it's it's called it's called you know role playing. You guys pretend like you're role playing. So that's how that works. 
Right. Okay, so you guys get up to the uh, south, <clears throat> uh, the southwestern edge of town, and uh, um, Linnaeus uh, parks on a hill, and he says, "He says it looks it looks quiet." He says, uh, "He says if you want me to go in with you, I will, but I think someone should remain here with the horses." Good idea. Stay here. Agreed. Stay. And and so he he will uh, like he kind of basically sets up a small cold camp, you know, pegs the horses to the ground with uh you know their their rain you know with their leads and uh, some spikes you know that kind of thing, um, and as you guys head off toward the uh, town, um, when you guys come into town, I believe you guys are on. I can actually leave kind of there to watch over them because. Yeah, you could do that if telepathy. you wanted to. Yeah, yeah you could do that well, if you wanted to. Um, that would be helpful. It, yeah. So let me move you guys to this map. Oh, it's right there. Good. Okay, you guys, you guys find yourselves at the bottom here. Uh, uh, where's uh, Luther? Bottom right. Bottom left. Or just dead Bottom bottom. leftish. Do you see yourselves on the map? Is that a closet uh, behind you, James? No, that's you. No, literally, is that a closet behind you? Uh-huh. Oh, yep. <laughs> There's supposed to be someone in that? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, baby girl, if you don't like to climb up in there. The cats. They happen there. <laughs> no, I meant somebody with like a ghost face mask. <laughs> That's a new addition. It was the going green eyes that were worrying me. <laughs> it's the ro like, ro uh, Mort cover with the with the Grim Reaper coming. <laughs> I was like, pause it behind me. <laughs> There's a closet behind me. Wait a second. <laughs> Let me do this here. Uh... No, I don't see my token up there. On there. You okay, it's no at the bottom of the, bottom of the map here. Do you see this here? This ping? Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong... I know why you don't see it, because I'm on the wrong layer. There. <laughs> there we go. And you probably didn't see hey, the thing hey, either. Hey. There we go. Now there. So right here. Yeah, now we can see. Yep, yep. Very yeah. yeah, nice. Right there. We should check this building right next to us first. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm almost positive there's a vorpal sword in there. Yeah, or you go first. <clears throat> uh, mm-hmm. High school, we had had a friend who I was like a maniac, and she never gets pulled over. No, she drives more than twenty miles over the speed limit, like maniac. <laughs> well, we made the joke that she got a vorpal bumper on her car. Jesus. Uh, uh, a bunny, a rabbit, ran out in the middle of the road. Oh, no. And we heard the thud. This is, this is, this is a terrible story. <laughs> and uh, we went out to inspect the car. There was a sign of whatever it had happened. Oh, goodness. It's flat. We knew... Oh no no, that would have left them. She wiped it. She wiped it off. She wiped it off as uh, evidence. <laughs> she wiped the evidence so it's away. Like, All right. Just clean. So you guys, you guys arrive in town. It's relatively quiet. Um. One second. Is there any? Um. Is there any moving around? <clears throat> Or is this the um, elf town that we come to check out? This is the elf town that you came to check out. Um, hold on one second. 
Okay. <clears throat> it, by the time you guys get there, um, it's about twi getting to be about twilight. You see that the village was just destroyed, but only some hours ago. The place is full of corpses and destroyed property. Some of the buildings are still, like, not on fire, like, burning like crazy, but, like, have, like, you know, flames flickering off the walls here and there. Um, you know, they're mostly, like, dwindling out kind of thing. Um, Diablo, was that you? You, you notice a slight movement of one of the corpses, and uh, you realize it's a survivor. Okay. And he's over over here by this uh, this building here. Okay. Need to check the survivor. Yep. I'll go check out the survivor. We'll guard his back. Okay, you notice it's an elf. Um, okay. No way. He's nearly dead. Um, he says, My, my son! My son! And he reaches, and he kind of is reaching, and he's kind of pointing toward this door here at the same time as he's reaching. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'll go by, um, I was going to do a single dice of healing light on the guy to uh, pretty much stabilize him, so when we get the kid out, you can okay. go to dad. As, you, as you're beginning to cast, you notice that the, the life has left his body. Oh, okay. Well, it's up to the guys if we should do the revivify or not. Wait, do you want to do you want to spend uh, three hundred gold reviving this dude? Well, four hundred in this case, but sure. We could say it only consumes a hundred. <laughs> 100 off the one. <laughs> it only consumes 100, 300 worth, regardless. <laughs> it's just like. But it's up like to you guys. Of... Yeah, up to you guys. Yeah, it takes, ha takes half of the other one. Yeah. It's way too level all of spell to do that. Um. See if his kid's still alive. If this, his kid ain't alive, bringing him back. Okay. Let's check yeah. see if the kid. If the kid's alive, he's. We do that. <clears throat> so we basically have a timer. Okay. See if the kid's alive. All right. Go. Uh, you said he, he pointed over here. Yeah, he pointed to this re this door here. All the red, all the yeah. doors are red on the map. I don't know if you noticed. I'll go check the door. Is it locked? Trapped? Bad, uh, no, bad. it's it's kind of hanging slantways off its hinges. You said a little it's red. Bit. No, it's not red. I mean, all the doors. Well, if it was red, I was just gonna yeah, paint it black. No, all, yeah, nice. All the doors, <laughs> all the doors on the map are red. So what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, they've been kind of bloodied. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Okay, when you open the door, you see three zombies. Okay. And then they're kind of like, they're kind of like shambling around. And what, what they're doing is they're beating on this door here. There's another door inside the building. And they're, they're kind of like slamming on the door. It looks like they're trying to get in get in there um hold on why is this okay it's unfortunate for them it, he said what his na son's name was yes james he, he told did us not. exactly what his son's name was it was nunya nunya business nunya business nunya business i thought I, I thought the son's name hey, was nunya, ah! yeah. <laughs> His son, his, my son, my son. His, his, son, his son's name was. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> Luther's all there with a pen and paper. Uh, How do you spell that again? <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? A. So anyway, 
Okay, so you see him pounding on this other door when you get inside there. Mm-hmm. And then well, they kind of I'll... notice. They kind of notice you, and you know. You right. know. Oh, well, they notice me. Uh, and if I may, I'd like to take an action. All right. What what, what kind of action you want to do? A bonus action. All right. Go ahead. They can see Luther. I'm over here. Teleport. Oh, fa Misty, Misty step? step. Okay. Yep. All right. And then roll initiative. Um, that's gonna cost you. Few seconds while I figure out how to do it because I forgot. You click on your token. Okay. Don't forget. No. You know why? The Heimer of the Wizen. Are the stickers correct? I would. I would say. I would say these are zombies, but it could be in your head, in your head. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of when you said those three zombies. <laughs> zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, what? We all got decent rolls. Let's watch the zombies outroll all of us. Oops. Not like that thing. Uh. <clears throat> One of them did okay. Bloop. All right, let's see. Wait, where's this bed at anyway? I think it's on the map layer. Hang on. This yeah, is, it is. The bed I can physically see right now. There you go. All right, we're gonna use the bed as the uh, end of round. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's gotta be on the token layer for me to do that. Yeah. Oh no, but now it's on there twice for whatever reason. Okay. Alright. Alright, so Grandalith, you're up first. Of course I am. So you bonus not. bonus action pop pop in there and before you uh before uh they get to um even react really that you get a chance to take your full on uh, turn so you can do a you can do a uh, action and a bonus action it's like you know like the top of the round so to speak well, my action is two strikes with this okay nice uh, and then uh, is that music too loud for you guys I don't know if I need to turn that down a little yeah. bit why is that set to advantage Turn it on just a hair anyway. There we go. All right, there we go. Mm. All right so let's see some damage here. So this guy's going to eat. Ooh. Oh, wow. 13? But 13? Yeah, 13 damage. What is this? What oh, wait. The world? Don't add in that sex from that sneak attack, that second sneak attack. So uh, 13, 22 total. Which is the exact amount of hit points a zombie has. So he's going to make his undead fortitude check. And fail. And he actually made it, so he's still alive with one hit point. All right, so for my bonus action. <laughs> All right. I will smack him again. Now, Rob, now, Raw, it says, so the, the saving throw they get for their undead fortitude is DC of 5 plus the damage taken. Now, what I usually do in, the, in this case is it's the DC of 5 plus the damage taken over and above what it would need to kill them. Okay. So. Well, I, I did 7 points. Yeah, so 7 plus 5 is 12, so... Yeah. And he still makes it. So he's still there. Well, still standing. That's all I got. That's all I got. All I right. Nothing more. Reaction. Stop, all right. Dude. Gavor, stop, you're bro. up next. Okay, um, make it simple. If the damage, oh, also if the damage is radiant or a critical hit, then of course, then it uh, doesn't matter. Well, do my oh, magic. Critical. <laughs> Does a 15? Um, that was a blast. Yeah, that, hit, that hits. Yep, for eight force damage. Um, the closest one. Which Close happens one. to be that one, yeah. Okay, so... It's, so, minus eight. Alright. 
Is that it? The, what level are you, Gabor? Not, I'm five. So it was one Eldritch Blast, right? Yeah. Are you uh, sure? Mm. At fifth level, though, don't you get two rays, two beams? Oh, yes. Yeah, so go ahead and make okay. that second one if you want. Oh, yes. And I think the second one can uh, can either attack the same subject or another subject, if I remember correctly. Uh -huh. Another target. Well, oh, and another well, eight. All right. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I do. Because you guys are fifth level or higher now, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. We're fifth. Yep, okay. All right, so that was it for you. That There's some good damage on this yep. this one right here. Um, and then um, so I'm closer to right in front of Luther. So Luther doesn't have to walk anyway. He gets to batter up as he goes in. <laughs> so so the first zombie that was attacking that get that got pretty much uh, decimated by Grandolith. He turns to Grandolith and tries to attack Grandolith, and fails miserably. Um, and then Luther, it's your turn. Oh, I don't know. I think I would like to... Rage! Rage. Alright, Luther's gonna rage, he's gonna, uh... Uh... Good. Yeah, no, so when you, so what don't you, what you want to put up to is your Storm Aura. Because that's that's a thing that goes on as soon as you rage. Um, it's what within ten feet. I think it's ten feet. And I can visually see the enemies. Thank you. About that. Is it not? No, it's it's ten feet, right? Correct. Uh, yeah, 10 feet from you in every direction, but not through total cover. If you, your aura has an effect that activates whenever you enter your rage. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, so actually what you can do is, as a bonus action, you can choose, you know, your storm, desert sea, whatever, so sea. Um, and then as one of your sea things, I can't remember where it's at, but your uh, when you choose the sea aura, you can do that lightning bolt thing as a bonus action. Ooh. Shocking, isn't it, Luther? <laughs> gonna fail their half as much. Yeah, there you are. See, see where I went. Yep. Luther's gonna come over here. Are you gonna use the lightning on, on somebody? Uh, you can't do it. You, oh, you can't do the bonus. You can't do the lightning this round, right? Right. Uh, oh yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's not a bonus action. It just does it once you have the aura up. You just pick a pick somebody and say that that person takes that damage. In the momentum. Uh, then. Uh, uh. And they got to make a deck save. Okay, you're moving up there. Get right in. Yeah, Luke, you're gonna get right in on this. And then I'm trying to. Uh, I had to move him so because for some reason it was overlapping with the token. That's fine. That. Uh. I won with the uh, uh, lightning. Yeah, I guess I should have put him here, but the bottom one with the lightning. Okay, go ahead. He has to make a deck save, and you're gonna roll one d six. He failed his deck save. So he takes four damage. All right. And uh, on the middle one, Luther's gonna uh, trying to go to town with, go to work with his uh, yeah. <sighs> shameless, shameless self promotion, dark elf design shirt. Da, da, da. Anyway, mm -hmm. Hey, make it in a six X, and I'll buy one today. All right. You can buy one in a six X off of Gabby Brass, but they suck. They suck. Uh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. That is a miss with your red X. That is a miss. Okay, 
that was uh, the right button. Then. Okay. <laughs> but at 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 uh fifth level, you should get two attacks in a round. Yeah, I do. And also on <laughs> this, on that one, two nat ones in a row. I think I think Ooh. you know this calls for our big evil crit chart. So I think that's. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> Critical fail on top of critical fail, <laughs> top of critical oh, fail. Boy. How did you win twice failure. in a row? Okay, so <laughs> roll me a D100. Oh, Lord. Nine. Oh, oh, single digits are always bad. You cut yourself shaving. Consult oh. limb loss subtable. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you drop your axe as you slice through your calf. Oh. Well, I think I think you slice your calf with an axe. You're bound to drop that axe. It makes perfect sense. And you take five damage. You're raging, so you'll take half of that, so you'll take two. But you are bleeding pretty Fusely. badly. Profusely, yes. Profusely. And you're stunned for about a round. Ah. So until it gets back around to your turn again, you're stunned, basically. That's uh, awesome. That is I'd be stunned too. I'm like, I can't believe I stupidly did that. <laughs> <laughs> I can absolutely believe you did that. Okay. And it's at this point that we point and laugh. Next zombie. Where is he? Okay, he's the uh, lower like one. That little animatic of start. Yeah, he's the lower one. This this zombie what? attacks you for misses. And then the next zombie. Um, also attacks you because Grendel is too far away. And also misses. So, you don't feel like, at this point, you feel like you're more of a threat to yourself than the zombies are, but, you know. <laughs> but, alright, so end a round, and then Grendel with you're up. And so at this point, you guys also hear something from inside the room, like, like, it sounds like whimpering. The boy's alive. I'm... Feel this dude a whopping seven points of damage. All right. So seven and, uh, plus five is 12. And he fails, so he drops dead. Yeah. yeah. Step up and strike the next. One more thing here. Find my pouch. Lost my pouch. There it is. Boop. Oh, nice. A crit. Mm. A swing and a crit. Alright, you want to give me a D100? Mm. Or you just want to see what the, sure. see what it does just regular? It, probably, it might do enough just regular, too, anyways. But, um, 52. 52 is Calamitous Fall. Hang on, let's see. So the zombie makes a deck save. Oh, he, he made it. Um, <laughs> but you're going to roll your damage plus roll one extra damage die. So 7 plus 6 plus one more D6, D, uh, right? D6, so, so yeah, 7 plus 6 is 13, right? Yeah, 13 plus 5 is 18 damage. Kablam. Well, technically, it's... Right? Uh, no, it's going to be 20 because there's an additional plus 2 on that die from the bonus of the weapon. Plus 2 scimitar, so that would add that 5. Yeah, it's already in there. That's it's, It was on the first, first die. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right, gotcha. We're good. It's still 18 points. Yeah, you, 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 you hit him really hard with it, and uh, he, he's, uh, you know, pretty tore asunder. Um, right, I have a bonus action. Yep. 
Let's see, what can we do with that? Oh, let's hit him with a civic card. I mean, why not? So, do you have an offhand weapon? Uh, 15. Uh... Yeah, I normally have a hammer in my offhand, but, you know, I forgot to. Alright, and so six slashing, so he's going to do another con save. Uh, he's fine. So he's at, uh, well, he's not fine, but he is still up. He's still standing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like, he looks He looks a lot worse for the wear, though, of course. Well, he looked worse for the wear when we were beginning to this. Let's be honest. <laughs> True. Looks worse than Luther does right now. Alright, Gabor. Okay. Get in here and do some damage or shine their shoe with something. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> shine um, this uh, um, this bolt at one, which misses. Second bolt. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Second bolt uh, made up for the first attack. <laughs> so basically, um, there's my two attacks. First one missed. Second one was a very nice thing. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, the nice. first. Oh, the second one's a crit. Also, go ahead and roll a D100. Okay. Yeah, you got something weird going on with the damage here. Uh, he forced you critical damage? Uh, yeah, well, well, just the idea of where it says force damage, it says 9 plus, and then it's got nothing. And plus it should, one force critical damage. No, because it's a crit, so it should be a die plus a die, plus the whatever plus the whatever, I think, shouldn't it? Pretty sure. Okay. Oh, okay, no, I see. Okay, the force critical is... Okay, yeah, that's weird. They, they That's... That's funky. They did that weird now. Well, 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 what do you expect? I rolled it off and D, used a D20. I'm not D20. Oh, but, Beyond? Um, oh, DD Beyond? Okay, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Okay, now I see what's going on there. Alright, so 10 damage and 18. Let's see, what does 18 give you? 18 gives you uh, plus 2 AC for one round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you can also roll no ones or twos on the damage die. So re-roll that second d10. R roll me a d10. There we go. That's better. A ten. Yeah, ten plus nine is nineteen damage rather than ten damage. Right. So, and this is the first one again, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's gonna make a. Constitution save of, uh, what was it, 18 plus 5, uh, 20 something, 23? Yeah, I never know. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. If he would have got a 20, he would have made it! <laughs> Dang, okay, so yeah, he is dead, though. I was like, that was insane, though. That would have been crazy. Okay, Alright, second beam. That was, um, I didn't have advantage, so that was my. Oh, that was attack. your that was your second beam. Okay, so all right. Okay, but I do have. I've, I'm correct. My healing light is a bonus action. Uh, could be Am yes. Right? Could be yes. I don't know. You have um, to put it up there. Uh, my right here. I can I can put it up there off your sheet real quick. One second. Backspace. Gavor. Yeah, Okay, what is it? Healing light? Uh, yeah, it's his. That's um, your celestial healing. ability, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, one second here. Keep getting these. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, yeah, healing light. First level, you gain the ability. As a bonus action, you can heal one creature you see within 60 feet of you, spending the dice from the pool. Yes. Maximum dice am, you can spend is equal to your charisma modifier. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you have. Um. D6 is uh, equal to your warlock level, so five, right? Plus one, so you have six, six healing dice. Yeah, I'm only gonna just use a, just use one on Luther, so he stop, 
trying to bleed himself out. So he stops bleeding? <laughs> yeah. Stop bleeding everywhere. Okay. You're gonna attract zombies. Wait, oh, okay, sir. <laughs> Dude, look at this over there like, ah! 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 That whole family guy thing repeated. Uh, skin, uh, it stings. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and uh, roll a d6, uh, Gavor. Ooh! <laughs> I rolled a one! One! Okay, so Luther, you heal oh, one hit point. Luther, you heal <laughs> one hit point. Um... Hey, also, um, before, I know we're getting close to, well, we're not quite there yet, but but at about one, you're going to really have to duck out, right, Joe? Like right yeah, around there? Yeah, duck out a little bit so, before one. So, before we do that, um, are you guys possibly interested in in moving the session time back to like 3.30, or are you guys happy with the current session time? I'm happy with the current time. <clears throat> I mean... Let's see what happens today, but I mean, if we wanted to do a later game on Fridays instead of me switching to Saturdays, I would be okay with that. Um, and honestly, it'd be easier for James because of the fact that he's always got to go to the VA in the morning quite often, well, so it wouldn't well, be in the way. I have a game this afternoon, but other than that, I've been keeping on top of stuff, and I've tried to schedule around all my VA appointments around my game. So, so, you, do have a, so you have another game Friday afternoons? Yeah, it's actually G, G D Q with Nikki and them. Yeah, but what what um so against the Giants, right? Um, yeah. But what is um <clears throat> the the last uh like when does that start? What time? What time does it start? Oh, mine's at three. Oh, okay. So it's we can do this one at three. We can do this one at three thirty because you'd already be in the other one at three. <laughs> Okay, all right. Just just checking on that because uh, one of the other, uh, I think the Saturday game is going to move to three thirty, like the Sunday game is. So. Yeah, but then oh. uh, then then you got that overlap between that and the. Which light? Yeah. Yeah, well that that won't be bad though because the which lights tomorrow, so the Saturday game is next week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Oh, it's the opposite, so the opposite week. week. But even if it wasn't, it's only three hours. So the well, yeah, that would be an overlap. Yeah, so it'd be an overlap by a half hour, but yeah. Anyway, so, but yeah, it's a Saturday. It's an alternating Saturday, so. But, all right, cool, cool, and all right. So then, uh, we're back at um, Gavor, who did the healing lights. Um, yeah. Did, uh, did you two Eldritch blast? Hang on, let me see. I gotta check this other guy because I didn't check him. Um. He he has to roll pretty low to fail, but. And he did not. Rolled pretty low. Yeah, but he didn't roll low enough. Because he only rolled a, th he only got three damage on that one, so his DC would be uh, seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, and is this zombie alive? No, nope, that ch zombie check. He's dead. And this zombie. Wait, that's the one I just tried to get rid of. There you go. Okay, and then Luther, uh, you are now unstunned. No longer bleeding, and you are no you are no longer bleeding, um, and you're and and you're up. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, you only healed one point, but you're no longer bleeding. Yeah, no longer <laughs> bleeding. That's good enough. You ever get those? You ever get those little cuts? And they're not even they're not life threatening. They're just annoying because they're just messy. That's what that was. Yeah. He gave himself a messy cut on the back of his foot. You had a paper cut? Yeah. Messy cuts are, are quite... They're not as annoying as uh, pain-wise as a paper cut. Uh, but uh, the mess they make, because if you don't bandage it, you're going to just leak everywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Kind of tone it back. Um, Luther's gonna... 
swinging at this zombie right here. Oh, not that one. Get the other one. It's already dead. <laughs> the one's already dead. Hey, hit the dead one. They're all dead. The They're zombies. <laughs> well, it's time to re dead them. <laughs> re permadeath. <laughs> Oh, You're gonna God. hit him with your axe. You're gonna pick up your axe and hit him with it. Is that what you're saying? Or are you just gonna club him? Oh yeah, I dropped the axe. Uh, that <clears throat> counts as an action, right? Uh, uh free act, free action. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Unless you've already. Yeah, I hit your, him that time. It's technically no free actions is uh, in five E, but the, it's a free object interaction. Yeah, you hit that time, and you didn't hit yourself that time. What you need to do is you need to you need to roll a a, a one a nat one and then when if you get a uh, uh, if you get a uh, a determination where you hit yourself then you need to roll the hit to hit yourself and if you roll a nat twenty you crit on yourself. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so two and twelve is fourteen. And he's only got one left, so his DC is gonna be thirteen plus five is eighteen. So he's gotta make a eighteen DC eighteen con check. Con save. What, oh the ouch. Is. And he's done. Seems like there's one of the systems you have to confirm a crit. So like you have to roll your crit and then you have to roll again to, to make sure that Yeah, you're yeah. Um was that, GURPS? was that GURPS? Was that in GURPS? I, I don't know. I do remember. I do remember playing a system like that. For for um, your crits, yeah. You had so you basically had to roll two crit rolls, special crit rolls in a roll. I saw I saw somebody bring up Twilight Two Thousand the other day, and I'm like, my man, you, you know how old that game was? <laughs> how long I played? So, how long ago I played that game? Right. I don't know if they have a new version it. out, but like I'm like somebody brought that up, and I'm like, wow. Twilight like 2050 or something, because it was like the 80s when that came, yep. came out. Yep, <laughs> yep. And it's like, oh, that's so far away. And then it was just there, and now it's just yeah, as far it, gone as it was. Yeah, to it was. It was like, in the 80s. It was in the 80s when the when the the year 2000 was the future, and everybody's yeah. gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a post-apocalyptic, dystopian, flying car, utopian, whatever kind of future, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he got jetpacks. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't happen, did it? <laughs> you know why there's hey, no. We got, you know the real we got reason. The hair now, though. You know the real reason there's no no flying cars, right? People can't drive in fucking two dimensions. What are you gonna give them a third for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then and then not only that, but um, <clears throat> you know, there'd be there'd be cars falling out of the sky because people forgot yeah. to put gas in them. And, it, right, right, right. and they'd be going, and they'd be going, they'd be going. I know my cock, you know. Well, I mean, to think, just I got plenty of gas. How automated that car would have to be to fly? Like it would have to be even more self-piloting than you know your typical, you know, Tesla or something. I mean, it would have to be totally capable of being self-piloting. It would not allow you to, to go anywhere in flight mode unless you put in a program destination and uh, determine you had what you needed to make it. <clears throat> All I know. can say is, can have you ever seen a person that's never flown a drone, like one of the mini drones, like fly yeah. a mini drone? Hard. It's yeah. Hard. If you ever seen somebody just try it right out the gate for the first time, that's I'm how flying. That's how drone. flying a car would be. I should go get my <laughs> um, attic. And Fucking charge it up. Play with that thing tomorrow. I can oh, just... use it to clean your roof. A drone? I don't think you'll use it to clean your room. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not a. It's Why not are you a... telling me to clean my roof? Is the real question here, sir. I think. I think uh, if you had a dr drone that could clean room, your not room. I think. I think if you had a drone that could clean your room, <clears throat> would it be a Droomba? <laughs> Droomba. <laughs> The Droomba. The Droomba. A of Anorite inside a Roomba. A what? Anorite? Anorite. Okay. Right. 
That's what they, it's a special effects explosive. To, uh, this is for educational purposes. <laughs> I'm a professional <laughs> idiot, by the way, so don't do it. I'm done. You shouldn't even discuss um, this, because I'm sure that there's a felony involved. Maybe some, some kid going out and doing this later. All right, so you guys open this door. Well, I don't know if you open the door. Do you, you guys get to the door where the zombies are, like, laying dead, you know, on the floor by... Um, and you noticed it's it's pretty well shut. <clears throat> okay. So, um, what are you guys going to do once you... What's that? Is it the... Okay. Okay, does uh, it appear to... Is it locked? It doesn't seem to... It doesn't even seem to have a lock on it. All right. So, I, I pick up the dwarf and use him as a battering ram. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just open the door. <clears throat> Here. Okay, it seems, to, it seems to be stuck pretty fast. Like, it seems... Solder it. Okay. Who's going to knock on it? I'm not going to knock. I'm going to put my shoulder into it. Push this door open. Okay, go ahead and give it a give it a good shove with you with an athletics check. Oh, you would ask for athletics, wouldn't you? Yeah. Like, I have that or something. <laughs> That's acrobatics. Good enough. Oh, yeah, it is. Whoops. Are you proficient in acrobatics? No. Be this oh, okay. That's a good roll, though. There it is. There There's you your athletic pack. Good enough. All right, so... <clears throat> so yeah, it would have, if you're not proficient in acrobatics, the roll would have been higher with athletics, probably, because you're proficient in athletics. Um, oh, yeah. Anyway, so you, you, you shoulder the door open. It, it was definitely, like, had, like, uh, some, you know, heavy crap packed in front of it kind of thing. Um, and you look in the room and it appears empty. Uh, I kill the mimic first. Kill the mimic first. <laughs> <laughs> is the boy or did you find the line? Strapping in, blocked. There was clearly someone in here, so um, I would suggest crawling out from under the bed before I assume the bed's mimic and kill it. You, you're, you're going to kill the bed? No, I say that. I say, uh, clearly someone's in here, so I'll crawl out from under the bed before I assume the bat, bat is a mimic and kill it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you hear, you hear, um, very quietly and very muffled, you hear, I can't get out! Luther. And yes. I will do the revivify. Get stuck under the bed. Well, there's there's nothing there's nothing to, there's nothing to revivify because uh, the father. Oh, oh okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so you go over to the bed, Luther. Um, you notice that the, the bed is like relative. It's a sleeping pallet style bed, and older, you know, like a just a cheap sleeping pallet style bed. Uh, you're able to move it, and when you move it, you notice that there's a trap door in the floor. And as you, as you move it. You notice that the uh, the trap door kind of opens slightly. And you, <clears throat> you see a young elven boy in there. Um, he is, uh, you know, looks pretty scared. Um, he has a bow, and he is kind of, uh, you know, he he kind of like starts to make his way out of the the cellar and uh he's like looking around at you guys and and uh you know sees that the that they're already gone or whatever what's the uh hold on one second where's that revivify oh see you know you have revivify off D D beyond so i don't get to see the spell description i see how it is <clears throat> My phone just keeps going. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't truck with necromancer, sir. <clears throat> it's the child's parent. <clears throat> Most likely the father. Do so you use black magic on him? Vile villain. Hmm. 
This is going to be close. I'm going to say... Pick high or low, James. High. Dun, dun, dun. I should have used it right away, dude. Failed this. Okay, it's low, so so when you you cast Revivify, but it has no effect. But see, the thing is, I counted the rounds. Yeah. Since when you said he passed, I counted rounds. I, there's only three actions, so I was waiting to hear the battle over. It's still three rounds is less than a. Yeah, but it was only it was three rounds of combat. It was a round when you found the guy. It was at least around when you go went into the you know the thing and and remove the bed. So that's at least that's at least door. five rounds. So I, that's why I was saying, well, I would say fifty fifty that you got to him and back to him in time or whatever. But okay, the the idea is it's, he's supposed to be dead anyway. But but I, yeah. I guess I guess you know. I could I could say you revived him, but well, but, we'll find someone somewhere for the child to go. Okay, well, yeah. So Luther should have dropped his axe on work. him again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his wounds were too oh, he's, too. He's uh, dead this time. His wounds were too severe to um, help him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um. So anyway, so the kid comes out, um, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> he's like, "Are the, are they gone?" Um, you mean those at your feet? He looks down. And he says, "Yeah, yeah." He says, the, "But what about the demons?" What? Hmm. I see no demons. Um, he's like, well, I I heard there were demons. He says, and 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 fires, and there was fires. He says there was, I heard there was demons, and and father, father, uh, locked me down here so I'd be safe. Yes. That's how come we was able to finally get to you. So yeah, so there's a huge plot hole there. I don't know why there's a plot hole there, but only because I'm assuming that there's no windows in the room, but there's got to be windows in the room because otherwise there's a huge plot hole. Anyway. <laughs> Cuz how did how did that how did the, wait a minute, if the kid's locked into the into the trap door, how did he uh, board up the freaking uh, you know, how did he push oh, how did he barricade the door if he's locked in the under the bed? So it wasn't the kid, it had to be the dad that barricaded the door, right? Well, then how did the dad get outside? He had to go out a window, you know? <laughs> but if the dad was attached to the trap door, the kid piled the stuff up. When he pulled the trap door down, it pulled the bed back over it. But he wasn't strong enough to lift it back up. There's that possible. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he that looks, he looks like he's... Spackle. Yeah, he, he's plot spackle. He, he looks like he's about... Uh, 16 to 18 range, uh, but you know that could be a little bit uh, misleading because he is an elf. But generally speaking, elves kind of age the same as humans when they're younger, so he could still be within the 16 to 18 range. It's hard to say. So, so he's so he's, he's probably not he's one. probably not older than 50. Is would be your guess. Knowing what you know, well, maybe not what Luther knows of elves, but maybe what Grandelith knows of elves. You know, he's probably not older than fifty. Um, the guy, the guy Luther's that came with us. He's a teenager. Um, I call for the guy that came with us. Um, for the elf, um, boy. I think the point is. Oh, you call you call for Linnaeus. Yes. I, okay. I don't think he's come to town with the cart. We have to take the survivors to yeah, him at the cart. Yeah, he's out on a hill, like, probably a thousand yards from town, but... We oh. just take them to the edge of town and say, there, on top of the hill, go there. Okay, and send them on? Yeah. 
Okay. Yep, that's, he, he, so he makes his way to the cart. He says, he says the demons went that way, you know, as he's, as he's heading to the cart. He says, the demons that went that way, and he points to the far end of town. Okay. Perfect. That's where we're going. <clears throat> far end of town. Um. Why not? Yep. Yeah, um, is there anything else in these rooms? You would have to search them individually. Okay, I would like to uh, search this room that I'm in right now. Uh, a little trap door might as well. You know, was it? Right? Say again? I want to search the trap door area, kiddo, was it? We're gonna give you a. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna like finagle this here a little bit, there, uh, James. We're gonna say that when you revivified him, it worked. Okay. Okay. At least temporarily, um, and and it was enough to bring him back. Enough to say, uh, please, you know, he still has fatal wounds that that are not being able to be, uh, you know, whatever. But he says he's like, you must find the ones who did this, and he. And he kind of tells you about how the town was attacked by undead, and uh, um, that they they fled to a cave not far out of town. Well, okay. uh, he didn't say not far out of town. He said they fled. They he they fled to a cave in in the in the mountains. Is what actually he says. Okay. Because it is kind of far out of town, actually. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Okay, so we got the information. They've um, the rest of the ones that fled are hiding in the cave. Are hiding in a cave outside of town, or out, or yes. in the mountains, I should say. That's scary okay. when elves run underground to hide from above ground. Yeah, well, you know. No, 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 no. He said that the dudes who attacked went and hid in the cave. He didn't say anything about. He didn't say anything about elves hiding in the cave. He said the the people oh. who attacked you, the people who attacked the the town, took off and like left and hid in a cave or or whatever. You okay, know, or went and that's probably the strong. That's probably the nesting area. Yeah, their their lair, their hideout, whatever. Yep, yep. All right. So yeah. Um, I might have explained that bit poorly. I think I understood it, so... Okay, so... Um, so that is... Well, that's 50 XP each. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me give you, uh, let me give you each, um, 75 XP each. I like 75 XP. Because it would give you a little bit for, you know, saving the boy and, and uh, you know, like, Talking to the revivifying the old man and or his old man and uh, you know temporarily temporary revivify. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! All right, so um, let's see. Have to look at something. You guys are gonna search the rest of the houses, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, give them a quick, quick, quick watch over. Look for any more survivors. Okay, you know which which Old. which house are <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> which house are you going to search first? Yeah, might as well go to the closest one. So, like this bottom left one. Sure. After we search the one we're already in. Okay, this is the one you are in. Uh, Anything in the trap door where Kiddo was at? Um, it's a root cellar, so like, there's probably you know some some food type stuff uh, items down there, like some roots and. There's roots, man. Roots and uh, turnips and potatoes tubers. and tubers and whatever. I don't know, parsley, not parsley. What the? What, what am I saying? Um. Mm. Well, rutabagas, turnip. rutabaga, turnips. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Onions. I don't Just know. taking a turnip. All right. 
Um, yeah, so there's nothing in this house. Uh, when you search the house down here, uh, there's relatively little in that, but you do find a chest with five gold pieces in it. Um, <clears throat> everything else seems to be pretty clear. Uh, you do see in... Um, where is it? There's a house over here, um, and when you go to search it, you do hear some noise coming from within. Was that just special? Um, just like some thumping noises and scraping noises. Well, time check, it check it out. Okay. So here, let me put you guys over there by there. I'll, I'll take remove and remove and. Uh, you know, what? I don't think I had it, so where you could see it, anyways. There you go. There now you can see it. But I'm gonna remove Luther Storm Aura. Joe, put Joe over there. Okay, Joe's putting himself over there. That works. Um. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Whew. Goodness. I'm falling asleep here. Um, Partying too much? I guess, yeah, pretty much. We went and seen Superman at uh, Firekeepers yesterday. <clears throat> nice. It was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah? Guys, do you, mind, do you mind if I step away real quick to uh, top my coffee up? Uh, yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll do a quick break real quick. Okay, we are clear.
So you want to set up an ambush by the door. Uh, what are you going to do to set up, a, set up an ambush now that you hear this uh, dragging, scraping, like somebody's dragging their feet kind of thing? I was going to suggest, like, uh, to get all of us get within being able to see inside the door. That way, one of us kind of, like, knocks on the door or opens it. And we just... There's trouble. Let the trouble come outside to yeah. us. Where we I can got jump this. it. You ready? Here's the plan. Luther, you stand up front. I'll stand right behind Luther. Gavor, you'll stand behind me. The door opens. If there's a problem, I'll teleport past Luther into the room, attack you from behind while Luther rushes in, dealing devastating amounts of damage. Gavor, <laughs> you do whatever it is you do. <laughs> <laughs> that work. Let's do it. Oh. Get a word. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so you guys go and but knock on the door. But what are you doing? Like, open the door. Open the door, Luther. Open. It opens the door. Or gets the hammer again. Oh, you can it says I click on the door too, so Yeah, you should be able to click uh, on the door. Where is where did Ga uh not Gavor, where, where did uh Grandolith go? Right behind me for. Oh, okay, I see. Under him. Okay, gotcha. Y'all ready? Uh huh. Let me zoom in for the audience at home. Anyway, okay. So you know you open the door and you see two skeletons at which point one of them fires. Oh, not an advantage, and it's a miss. And we're going to roll initiative. Did I get moved over that? Oh, that was heck of an initiative roll there. Uh, it, it, it flipped. Bad. Y'all got the bad rolls this time. I got the bad roll last time. <laughs> oh, this is your fault. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Luther actually is gonna go first, huh? Yep. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, apparently. <clears throat> okay, Luther. It's all you. Cuddy. What? What was that? All I caught was Cuddy. Cuddy. I said, oh, righty, all righty. Okay. Luther's just going to, uh, uh, right here. And H. And he's going to complain about the bad service at McDonald's. And I'm just kidding. Uh,. hell was I going to do after that? Jeez. Wake up. Uh, Luther going to throw his uh, fishing net. At which one? The one to farthest to the right. Okay. So you should be able to just make a roll off your sheet there, possibly. <clears throat> if not, just roll a d20 and add your strength bonus. And I believe your proficiency, too. There you go. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, 22, it lands on him. And he is restrained. Then, uh... Click the net. Ah. Remember if I said I was going to rage... Spot, but you, do do that, you can do that as a rate. You can do that as a bonus action anyway. So it is a bonus action, an action of bonus. So is that what you're or doing? All that. Are you raging? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The net doesn't do any damage, so they don't they don't count for damage. But 
But oh, he is, okay. but he is restrained. <laughs> uh, that does make me wonder, though. If the net doesn't do any damage, why does it give me the option? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know uh, why. The I don't. Wh the question is, uh, why is it rule two? Oh, it's your dex. No, <laughs> it's your dex bonus, I believe. Yeah. And uh, plus right, so he could do. <laughs> <laughs> and then plus raise, uh, four damage with a net. <laughs> it's a spiked, it's one of the new spiked nets that <laughs> we've been hearing so much about. Uh, Zach, your camera's kind of getting choppy. All right, um. I'm sorry. So is that it for Luther? Uh, I did the rage thing, right? Yep. Uh, oh, ra rage, rage and the net, that's your action. Uh, okay, so, okay, so that's it for Luther. And then, yeah. And then, um, let's see this. Okay. You get attacked from the other room. Oh, I think you can see him. I can barely see one. Um, for 15, is that a hit, Luther? 15 a hit? I don't think so. Nope. 15 uh, is a miss. Much DC 15. Yep. And then another one. Hang on, I gotta see his. I gotta check out his line of sight. Oh, he don't have sight right now. Okay, so we can't see anything. I think He's he can like, probably see. What you doing over there, Bob? <laughs> okay, he actually moves up. We'll do that, and we'll uh, we'll have him attack you with a short sword. And a miss. Okay. And then Grandilith. I will pour in. Attack this guy. We'll start with. Okay, let's see. We'll go this way. Oof. <clears throat> okay. That's a good hit. For six damage. And then it's doubled. And he is toast. Alright. Well, then move to... What's going on with this one here with the floaty stuff? Right? He's restrained, so you'd be at an advantage to attack him. I got attacks for days. Uh, advantage. 22 is a good hit. Oh, damn. Okay, so you just... You basically just obliterate him and, like, bone shards go flying in multiple directions they would if they weren't contained in a fishing net but you know what I mean. yeah they, they they go flying through the holes of the net yeah, so. <laughs> they tear holes in the net. <laughs> easy way to shake it out shake out the bug part shards there this way there oh, caught me a bonefish anyway okay <laughs> alright so yeah so that one's dead too I can't figure out I can't get to the uh, little red X oh wait did I get it yay I did it okay anyway yeah, these these enemies are kind of getting stringy. Maybe maybe they should feed them more. Get some <laughs> meat on the bones. You do notice that these skeletons here, um, there's a definite smell of brimstone in the air, sulfur and brimstone, and you do notice that these skeletons are mostly skeletons because it looks like the uh, flesh is burned off their bodies. Nice. Uh, and that's it for Grandolith, right? I used all my actions, bonus actions. I'm going to leave that. Action. I'm going to leave that restrained thing around him, Luther, so you can remember that he's got your net on him. Yeah, Luther. Right. That one is not going to move, so he don't get a turn. All right, and then Gavor is your turn. Okay, I am going to come on in because evidently um, I'm not seeing anything outside. No. Nope. Well, you might see this guy here. I don't know if you can see him or not. I can't see nothing. Uh, the one that has the X on him? Yeah, the dead one, yeah. Yeah, you can see the dead one. And you can kind of see this one, but he'd be under three-quarter cover from where you're at. No, he's not. No, he wouldn't be. So right now I've got it sh uh, showing on stream what, what Gavor sees. Go to about right there. Yeah, now you can see all, uh, both the other ones too, right? Yep. Let's see how you like this, Mr. Skelly. Mr. Skelly don't like it. 
All right, so he takes eight damage. That's uh, first bolt. And the second one is hitting the same one. Yep. And he drops like a sack of potatoes. Well, like a sack of bones. I... <laughs> Clatters to the ground. Okay. Um, that'll be it. Okay, wait, wait. Now I gotta look. Um, where would it be? He tracks. Anything like that? Nope. Um, bone. Let's see if there's anything like that. No. That sucks. Dig nibbit. I want stiff like that. All right. So. Nibbit, Bobby. Oh. All right. So then. Um, back to Luther. Yes, Gavor. Yeah, that, that's it for Gavor, yep. right? Okay. Step in and finish him off, Luther. Be tough guy. Am I able to do that? Must step in there. Why? Yeah. Why not? Uh, I'm a kind of. Why would, step in why, why would you not be able to do that? Or why would you think you wouldn't be able to do that? The body in the doorway. Ah, okay, yeah, but it's a body, so you can walk on a body. And it's it's mostly skeleton bones, so it's you can walk on bones, too. So it's kind of crunchy. When if it walk. was like a gigantic body, then maybe, but it's just a skeleton. Remember, remember, a body this. doesn't actually take up five by five feet. You only take up five by five feet in combat because you're kind of all like out like this and swinging and dancing around that five foot <laughs> square. Mm -hmm. You know, a person is we only about stay. a person is only about two foot wide at the shoulders at, at the most. You know, usually. Speak for yourself, there, little guy. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No. Okay. Uh -oh. I might. Be, I might be three foot at the shoulders. I don't know. But maybe. Most Literally, doors, though. Take... Most doorways are only uh, two and a half feet, and yeah. three feet on the outside. So. Yeah. Anyway. So what? What was that, Luther? Uh, Luther's trip and fall. Yes, Luther's gonna trip and fall. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> Luther's gonna use some great axe. Try to, uh... You trip and fall onto the skeleton. Okay, that's a miss. Mm. Make your second attack. That's a hit. The inverse of the first one. Ten slashing. Two. I forgot to conflict that. I'm sorry. Are you using a slashing weapon on a skeleton? Oh, and then you're raging too. Sorry, yeah, so it's 12, 12 altogether. All right, that's enough to make it drop. All right. You could say that skeleton was point. rattled. <laughs> Bitch. I'm at two minutes. All right, and uh, with Joe having two minutes left to go, you guys finish searching the the town. You realize that these these skeletons were all burned and and had the flesh flesh burned from their bodies before they were turned into skeletons. The smell of sulfur in the air indicates that there might have been some sort of demonic activity, actually. Um, and you guys, with that head out of, toward the uh, northern, northeastern edge of town to follow, pursue wherever anybody went. And that's where yes. we'll end it for today. Perfect. And, and um, next week, I, I was going to do uh, the... The Rise of the Drow campaign, but I'll be at Gen Con. So next week, that Rise of the Drow campaign won't be happening. Um, it'll be pushed right. back another two weeks after next week. But tomorrow, we have the Wilder Beyond the Witchlight campaign at 6, 7, 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock. Yeah. PM, Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow night, yeah. Saturday night. And uh, I will be attending that, too, to play. So it'll be fun for me. 
right. um, and uh, Joe will be DMing that, and uh, we will catch the rest of you guys. Um, anybody else who's watching, we'll catch you guys on Sunday um, for the No Good Deed campaign. Uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow for the Wilder Beyond the Witchlight campaign, and uh, we'll catch uh, Zach, you, and James next week. Or not next week, uh, two weeks. Yep, that was good. All right, have a good one, guys. Right, and thanks, uh, thanks for watching, again. everybody, and thanks for uh, watching. If you watch later, uh, remember to like and subscribe to us on YouTube and all that good stuff. And uh, peace. <laughs>